Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make a teddy bear in Blender 2.9. This tutorial is based on techniques I learned from tutor for You. The link is in the description. So let's get on with the tutorial. Let's begin by modeling the head. Delete the cube and add a UV sphere. Scale the sphere along the z-axis to slightly squash the head. Apply the scale with Control A. Right click on the sphere and choose Shade Smooth. Now we will make the snout. Duplicate the head and move it to the right. Then scale the snout to the desired size. I'm going to use 0.4. Move the snout in front of the face. So the top of the snout is aligned with the center of the head. Tab in edit mode. Rotate the snout around the x-axis 90 degrees. And then delete the back half of the snout, since we won't be seeing these faces. Tab in object mode and go back into solid view. Then align the snout to the head. Then apply the scale and rotation. Let's make the nose. Duplicate the snout and scale the nose to the desired size. I'm going to again use 0.4. Then align the nose towards the top of the snout. and apply the scale and rotation of the nose. Now it's time for the ears. Add a UV sphere and move it to the right of the head. Rotate the sphere around the x-axis 90 degrees. And scale the ear along the y-axis to the desired thickness. I'm going to use 0.5. Tab into edit mode and select the front center vertex. Turn on proportional editing using O on your keyboard and using the G key Move the center vertex back along the y-axis as desired. I'm going to use 0.5. Select a vertex on the front top of the ear. 
then using the G key, move the vertex forward along the Y axis to curve the ear as desired. I'm going to use negative 0.5. I'll turn off proportional editing with your O key, tab into object mode, and scale the ear as desired. I'm going to scale mine to 0.35. Right click and choose Shade Smooth. Then apply the scale and rotation. Now align the ear to the bear's head. Duplicate the ear and align it to the other side of the head. For the eyes, add a UV sphere. and scale it to the desired size. I'm going to scale mine to 0.15. Tab into edit mode. Rotate the eye around the x-axis 90 degrees. Then delete the back half of the eye since we won't be needing these faces. Tab into object mode and solid view. Right click the eye and shade smooth. Then apply the scale and rotation. Then align the eye to the head. Then duplicate the eye and align it to the other side of the head. Select everything, and then add a subdivision surface modifier, the viewport level of 2, and a render of 2, then apply the modifier. Let's now model the body. Add a UV sphere. Tab into edit mode, select the bottom center vertex, turn on proportional editing with your O key, use the G key to grab the vertex and the Z key to restrict the scale to the Z axis, 
use your middle mouse button to increase or decrease the scale of the circle so that it encompasses the entire body. Then scale the body to the desired size, squashing it slightly. Tab into object mode and scale the body as desired. I'm going to scale it to 1.25. Right click and shade it smooth and then apply the scale. And move the body so it's aligned with the head. Let's now model the legs. Add a UV sphere. Tab into edit mode. In wireframe mode, we want to select the bottom faces, excluding the center ring. And turn on proportional editing. Use G to grab the faces and Z to constrict the scale to the X axis. Make sure that the proportional editing area covers the entire sphere. Then scale the leg along the Z axis to the desired scale. It should look like a teardrop. I'm going to scale mine along the Z axis by negative two. Select the top three rows of faces. Use G to grab the faces and change the proportional editing area so that it encompasses only the top three rows. Then scale the selected faces along the X axis to the desired size. I'm going to scale mine to 0.5. Go back into solid view, then select the bottom center vertex. Then move the vertex along the Z axis and G then Z to inset the faces for the bottom pad of the foot. I'm just going to inset mine by one. Turn off proportional editing with O. Tab in object mode and scale the leg to the desired size. I'm going to scale mine by 0.5. Rotate the leg around the X axis negative 90 degrees. Right click, shade smooth, and then apply the scale and rotation. Add a UV sphere for the bottom pad of the foot. Scale the sphere to the desired size. I'm going to scale mine by 0.35. Rotate the pad around the X axis by 90 degrees. And scale the pad along the Y axis to the desired size. I'm going to scale mine by 0.3. Then align the pad to the front of the leg. and scale it as needed. Right click, shade smooth, then apply the scale and rotation. And duplicate the leg and pad and move them to the other side of the body. Select both the original leg and pad, and then rotate them around the Y axis as desired. I'm going to use negative 35. 
and around the Z axis, I'm going to rotate using 15 degrees. Then align the leg and pad to the upper part of the bear's body. Now select both the duplicated leg and the pad, and then rotate them around the Y axis as desired. I'm going to rotate mine by 35 degrees, and the Z axis by negative 15 degrees. Then align the leg and pad to the upper part of the bear's body. And duplicate the legs and the pads and move them to the bottom of the body. Rotate and move the legs as desired. I select the body, the legs, and the pads, and apply the scale and rotation. Add a subdivision surface modifier, the viewport and render of 2, and apply the modifier. We're now going to join parts of the mesh together and apply materials. Select both eyes and join them using Control J. Then rename the object to Eyes in the Outliner. Add a new material. Call it Eyes. Change the base color to black and change the roughness to 0.3. Select the snout and all four pads and join them. And rename the object to snout dash pads in the outliner. Add a new material. All this snout dash pads and change the base color to a light brown. I'm using the hex code of B18C53. Now select the head, the ears, the body, and all four legs and join them. Rename the object to head-body in the outliner. Add a new material. We'll call this head-body. And change the base color to a darker brown. I'm using the hex code of 80653C. Now add a second material, and we'll call this head-body-hair, and we will use this for the hair material. Under shading, add a color ramp, and connect it to the base color of the principal shader. Change the black color stop to the dark brown color. 
Again, I use the hex code of 80653C. Then move the color stop towards the center. Change the white color stop to the lighter brown color. I use the hex code of B18C53. And then move the color stop slightly to the left. Now add a hair info node. And connect the intercept output to the factor of the color ramp. This will color the hair darker from the root toward the center and lighter from the center to the tip of the hair. Rename the last sphere object to nose in the outliner. We'll add a new material and call it nose and change the base color to the darker brown that we used on the head and body. And the hex code I'm using is 80653C. Now we're going to apply the hair. Make sure that you have the head and body chosen. Then under the particle systems tab, add a new particle system with the type of hair. Under the render section, choose the head-body-hair for the material. Under the emission section, change the number to 5000 and the hair length to the desired length. I'm going to set mine to 0.1. Under the children's section, choose interpolated, and this will increase the number of hairs. Change the length to match the length under the emission section to shorten the hairs, and I used 0.1. Change the threshold to one, so some of the hairs will remain the original length. Under the roughness section, change the uniform and endpoints to get the desired look. I'm going to change uniform to 0.15, and I'm going to change my endpoint to 0.1. Then change the display amount as desired. I'm going to change mine to 20. We need to remove the hair from the eyes. Go into particle edit mode. Open the tool shelf with T to access the brushes. Choose the length brush. And under the active tool setting tab, choose shrink. Change the strength to 1. and make the radius just slightly larger than the eyes. Then use the brush around the eyes to remove the hair. If you switch back to object mode, you can see the results in the rendered view. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.